0.5%. Now, September is Pain Awareness Month here in the United States, and millions of people around the world, around the U.S., suffer from chronic pain. Today, our 18 News reporter, Trita Catterson, spoke to a Guthrie doctor about one treatment method that might not be known as commonly known. Continuing our coverage of Pain Awareness Month, today I spoke with a pain management specialist at Guthrie Hospital about pain pumps, which are used to treat chronic pain. Pain pump is a device that delivers medication directly to the spine. It consists of two parts, the, the pump that has a reservoir that holds the medicine, and then a catheter that's threaded under the skin around to the spine and then goes directly into the spine. Pain pumps are used commonly on people who have had surgery on their neck or back and continue to see pain afterwards. In certain cases, the goal of using these pain pumps is to decrease pain levels after undergoing an operation. Our best patient is probably somebody that already is on pain medication and has good control of their symptoms, but they're having difficulty with side effects. Let's take a look at how these devices work. It's called a spinal cord simulator. It has two components. One is the pulse generator, which generates the electrical signal, and then one or two electrodes, which are placed into the spine, and they lay directly against the dura of the spinal cord. Um, they stimulate a part of the spinal cord called the dorsal columns, which is a built-in system your body has to kind of suppress pain signals as they come into the body. This device is implanted under the skin in the belly, and then this is the catheter that's attached to it. It is then tunneled under the skin and then placed directly into the spine. As Pain Awareness Month is coming to an end, doctors stress the importance in knowing that there are several methods that can be used to treat chronic pain. It's all about finding what's best for you. Mostly, if patients can realize that they do have a lot of options available to them to try to manage it to improve their, their activities of daily living and improve their, their quality of life. In Sarah, Trina Catterson, 18 News.